Chainmail armor is one of those things in Minecraft that didn't really need to exist. Its protection value is in this weird place between gold and iron armor, it's not very durable, and it's pretty difficult to obtain as it can't even be crafted. So what's the purpose of chainmail armor in Minecraft? Why does it even exist? Well today, we're gonna try to figure that out. To start, we're gonna have to go way back to 2009 to a very early version of Minecraft, 0.24 survival test. Armor was added to the game, although it was purely visual and didn't actually do anything. There were originally two types, plate and chain armor. The plate armor was used on zombies and skeletons, but the chain armor, well, it wasn't even used at all. The models and textures were in the game, but were never used. It wasn't until InDev when armor as we know it today was added to the game. This also included chainmail armor. Shortly after, the crafting recipes were also added, which also included a recipe for chainmail. That's right, chainmail armor actually used to have a crafting recipe. By taking fire and shaping it in a crafting table like you would do for other armor, you could actually craft chainmail armor. But I'm sure you probably know that fire in which you can hold was unobtainable in survival mode. The only way to get it was with mods or inventory editors. So why did this recipe even exist if it couldn't even be used? I had to find out. So I contacted someone who probably knew the answer, the creator of Minecraft, Notch. He told me that the chainmail came from the same game prototype a lot of the other early sprites came from, Legend of the Chambered, but it didn't fit into the progression of Minecraft. Instead of skipping it, I temporarily assigned it an inaccessible material for crafting. Temporarily in quotes, because for a large part of Minecraft's lifespan, chainmail stayed inaccessible to survival players, probably because it just didn't fit well into the game. At the time, Notch likely had better things to improve on about the gameplay, leaving chainmail armor behind. Through the versions of InDev, InfDev, Alpha, Beta, and even through the first official releases of Minecraft, or around two and a half years, chainmail stayed inaccessible in survival mode. That was until patch 1.3 was released. Villagers were now able to trade items for emeralds, which happened to also include chainmail armor. Even though chainmail still couldn't be crafted without hacked in fire, it was now finally obtainable in survival Minecraft. Also, in the next patch, 1.4, zombies and skeletons now had a chance to wear and drop chainmail armor, which was yet another way to obtain it. With these updates, it created a sort of side challenge to obtain every piece of chainmail armor. You get bonus points if they're fully repaired, and you've reached god tier if you get them to max enchantments. I've actually tried this before, and honestly, it takes quite a while to do. You either have to get lucky with the villagers, or AFK next to mob grinders with a looting sword, but once you get the full set, it's a pretty satisfying accomplishment. Now, remember that crafting recipe I mentioned earlier? Well, believe it or not, this recipe implemented all the way back in InDev existed in the game all the way up until release 1.8, when the ability to hold fire as an item was removed from the game, and the actual recipe itself was manually removed from the game code. And that brings us to today. Chainmail armor is still uncraftable and can only be obtained by trading, mob drops, and from woodland mansion chests. But there's one thing specifically that still bothers me. Version 1.16 added a new item, chains, which is a nice decoration block. But if we have chains as items in the game, why can't we use them to craft chainmail armor? I mean, it just makes sense, right? Yes, it is technically more expensive than iron armor, which is way better anyways, but chainmail already has such a long history of being useless. Why not really rub it in even more by implementing this? I don't know, maybe my ideas are a little far-fetched. 